Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka The One Nick's Games. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install the chat log mod in Minecraft 1.8. First off, you go to minecraftform.net, so it doesn't matter, because guess what? It's the first thing in the description. Go down there, click that, it will take you out to this page. Then you want to scroll down until you see downloads right here, and then you'll see right here under this last spoiler under downloads, it says get chat log for Minecraft 1.8. Click this link right here, version 1. whatever. Click it, it will then take us off to this page where we may get a pop-up ad here. If we do, just simply click the X. That's right, it'll be in this area of the screen, there'll be an X. We didn't get one this time, but you may. So click that X, and then scroll down, read through all of this. I've already read through it. Once you've read through it and you agree to that, go ahead and click I agree to the license terms above, and click start download. It will then download the mod, so we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Here is the mod we downloaded. If it's not on your desktop, no big deal. Hit the Windows key on your keyboard at R at the exact same time, and type in downloads. Hit enter, it'll be right here. Go ahead, take it, and drag it to your desktop. Additionally, we do need WinRAR for this tutorial, so you can go to rkt.us slash WinRAR to download WinRAR for 100% free, all of that awesome stuff. That is the second link in the description down below. Go down there, click that, and you're good to go. Anyway, once you've got WinRAR downloaded and it's installed, we can go ahead and continue on with installing this mod. Hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time, just like we need to go to the downloads folder, except this time, we're going to type in percent app data percent percent app data percent hit enter and it will open up roaming we then want to go into dot minecraft and then we want to go into the versions folder right down here now we want to right click on 1.8 right here in our our versions folder right click on it copy it and then right click anywhere in this uh, whole entire area this white area and click paste now we have 1.8 copy however that's not what we want to name it so right click on it and rename it. Now we want to name it 1.8 chat log. Okay, so 1.8 chat log. And then we want to highlight all of this. Then we want to right click on it, copy it, and then we're good to go. We then want to open up this folder we just created, 1.8 chat log. Open that up, and we want to rename both of these files. So right click on 1.8 of the executable jar file and rename that to 1.8. And then, so right click on it, rename, and then right click on it to rename it again, and paste. Boom, 1.8 chat log. Do the same thing for the JSON file. Right click on it, rename, right click again, paste. Boom, 1.8 chat log. Now you want to go ahead and open this up right here. So you can right click on it, and then you want to open with Notepad. And then it'll open this. Now there's a lot of stuff going on here. Don't freak out about it. All we want to deal with is the first thing in this notepad document. And that is ID. And then boom. And in these parentheses right here, you'll see 1.8. We want to right click. We want to highlight that. Highlight that 1.8 that's in those parentheses. And then right click on it. And then paste. So now it says 1.8 dash chat log. Go ahead and click file. Save. Close out of that, and now we can go ahead and actually get the mod installed. To do that, we want to right-click on this executable jar file right here, and we want to open it with WinRAR Archiver. Okay, like I said, you do need WinRAR for this, or 7-Zip, either one works. I'll be using WinRAR. Go ahead and open up WinRAR here, or open up the executable jar file with WinRAR. Then we can go ahead and put this here. But then we also want to go ahead and open up this, the file we downloaded, chatlog-1.8. Right-click on that open with WinRAR Archiver. It'll open it here, and then we can go ahead and close out of that. And now, installing this mod is very, very easy. Just highlight this, the buh dollar sign two and the buh dot class. Just go ahead and highlight both of those and drag them over into 1.8-chatlog.jar. Click OK, it'll go through all of that. Now you want to right click on MetaInf and delete those files. Click Yes. Delete the entire meta imp folder, and now, bada bing, bada boom, we can close out of everything. I'll go ahead and meet you guys in the Minecraft launcher. Which in the Minecraft launcher, choosing to play the version of Minecraft you have with chat log is pretty easy. Simply go ahead and click on the profile you want to play, in my case that's Dead Buddha, and then hit edit profile, then come over here to use version. Yours will probably say, as does mine, use latest version or release 1.8. We don't want either of those, so we want to click on that and go down to release 1.8 chat log, because we want chat log, right? So release 1.8 chat log, click that, click save profile, click play. It will go ahead, download stuff, do stuff, and 
Bada bing, bada boom, there it is. Minecraft is opening, I'll meet you guys on the main menu. Which of the Minecraft main menu, testing to see if the chat log mod works is uh, decently easy. Just go to a popular Minecraft server. In this case, I'm gonna go to woodycraft.net because I know that at 6 a.m. the chat will be active there. We can come in here, we can go ahead and wait for it, wait for the chat to start pulling things up. It's actually not going to pull things up, I don't think, because I don't have it enabled. So we can go into options and then go into multiplayer settings. And you can do chat, commands only, chat hidden, chat shown, and uh, yeah, there you go. So you can go ahead and talk in the chat, like we can go T, and then talk in the chat, and all that stuff. And uh, what this is doing is being logged. Where is it being logged at? Well, pretty simple. Go ahead and disconnect here, click on your desktop, hit the Windows key and R again, and we're going back to the percent app data percent folder, and then back into dot .minecraft right here. Now, however, there is something new, a chat logs folder. We can double click on that, and then if we double click on this, it opens a web browser with, as you can see, the chat log that we just had. When we joined WoodyCraft, it said all of that, and it was logged, and now, guess what? It is in the chat logs folder in .minecraft in percent app data percent. There you guys have it. That is how you can install the chat logs mod in Minecraft 1.8. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps me out. I'm Nix Games, and I am out, guys. Peace. And here's some videos you guys probably want to go check out. On the left is how to install another 1.8 mod. This time we're talking about too many items. And in that video, I'll show you how to install too many items. So go check it out if you want too many items. And on the right is my review of the eBlue keyboard, the Cobra 2 keyboard. It is an awesome keyboard. Go check out that view of that video to see exactly what my views on it are, what I think about it. I think you guys will enjoy it. Also, check out my daily vlogs of Bomb Saber Screen. See what I'm doing every single day of my life. Anyway, guys, I'm Nick games and I am out. Peace.